How does AutoCAD know where your objects are? Well, it uses a Cartesian coordinate system known as the User Coordinate System, or the UCS. When you turn AutoCAD on and opened up a drawing, you might have noticed the two arrows that appear at the bottom left portion of your screen, down here. That is the UCS icon. It's there to help you keep track of your coordinate system. Now this is where AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT are slightly different. What I'm doing here now in this example has been done in AutoCAD. So I want to show you in both ways, the way AutoCAD and the way AutoCAD LT handles it. The X and Y axes are the same in AutoCAD as in AutoCAD LT. Where they differ is in the third axis, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But if you have ever plotted points on an X and Y graph or chart in math class or somewhere, then you are familiar with a coordinate system. AutoCAD's UCS, again the user coordinate system, is a fairly typical coordinate system. The numbers in the X direction on the X axis are the horizontal axis, left and right of your screen. The Y coordinates, right here the Y, are for your vertical coordinates. So X is horizontal, Y is vertical. Vertical meaning straight up and down on your screen. There is a third axis, that's the Z axis. That's where that little square comes. It comes and sticks right out at you, comes right out of your screen. Now this axis isn't really accessible in AutoCAD LT, but if you're using AutoCAD LT and you open up a drawing that was made in regular AutoCAD and that file has objects that are drawn in it, they're there, it's just going to be a little tricky to access them, so just be careful. The three axes together create a 3D grid. In AutoCAD LT, is, there's just a 2D grid. And we use these to draw in. As you rotate your grid, like this, and you can only do this in AutoCAD. If you're doing AutoCAD LT, you're only going to be able to rotate in your X and Y axes. You can kind of get a better picture of what all three axes look like. I rotated the screen by pressing the shift key down holding it and then pressing and holding the middle mouse button. This performs a 3D orbit in AutoCAD, but not in AutoCAD LT. So you can kind of see what it looks like. And you can reposition your user coordinate system in a lot of different ways. And that will help you to draw different objects. So if I want to draw a rectangle, I can. It's still drawing in the X and Y plane and as you can see, it's flat. We'll talk about different things like that a little bit later on. But to return, just type in the word plan and click on world. And that will reset you to the regular XY plane. Now each coordinate along an axis is one unit long. As you move your mouse back and forth, you can see in the bottom left hand corner, my coordinates. And these are your drawing coordinates. Now you can turn those off and on by pressing control and I. So as I move around, it tells me what coordinates I'm in. That's pretty handy. So it gives you an idea of where you are and what you need to know. You can also learn a few things about you know, the sizes of things. I can see my coordinates here and do some quick math and that'll let me know that this is about a unit long. So the coordinates can be used a lot of different ways. The number on the left as with most standard Cartesian coordinate systems, is the value of the point on the x-axis, or the horizontal axis in this case. The number in the center is of the y-axis, or the vertical axis here. And then the third value is the z-axis. As you can see as I move around this plane, and in AutoCAD LT it's at zero. So let's draw some lines and find their coordinates. So just start in a blank file, and draw a line. Type in L for line, and then pick a point anywhere and then draw it to somewhere else and press enter. So we want to find the coordinates for the endpoints of the line. Select the line and these blue boxes that are on the either the endpoints and one on the midpoint of the line are called grips. I'll show you how to use grips to edit and to work in AutoCAD later on. But right now you're going to just put your mouse right on it. And as you see in the bottom left hand corner, those are the coordinates for that point. So you can write that down. And then as you move your mouse, the coordinates change. And if you hover over that other grip, you get the coordinates for that point. And you can do the same thing with this box. 
you can get your coordinates and then you can plot it out on a graph or you can use those for points to locate something else. As you move left or down the screen, the values of the coordinates decrease. As you move up or to the right, the values become larger. Well, every coordinate system has an origin, and it's typically found at the coordinates of 0, 0. Well, that's the same case here. We're at 0, 0. AutoCAD works the same way. So that also means that you can have negative coordinates in AutoCAD. And in math, the positive and negative values often indicate direction. So a positive direction in a line or in a coordinate means it's moving to the right or up. Negative is going left or down. It's the same sort of thing. When I move over here to the left and lower of the UCS icon, you can see my coordinates are negative. To the top right, they're positive. And the X and Y become positive and negative accordingly. You can draw objects to distances, or you can draw them to static coordinate points. For example, let's draw a line that starts at the origin and goes to coordinate 3, 4. So I start the line command. And whenever you start off something, you can always just type in the coordinates. So put in 0, and hit the tab key, or hit the comma key, either one in this case. And we want 0. Press Enter. And my line is now started at the origin, or at 0, 0. Now it's a little tricky. On your next point, your second point, you have to tell AutoCAD that you want to put in the exact coordinates. Otherwise, it's going to put in distances and angles. So you have to hit the pound key. That will tell AutoCAD that you mean a coordinate. So we want to put this at coordinate 3, 4. So hit 3. And you can't hit tab here. If you hit tab, then it's going to go to the angle. So you'll be drawing in a length and angle. But if you press in the comma key, it tells AutoCAD, hey, I'm drawing this you know, in coordinate. So we now type in the number 4. And this will put our second point at coordinate 3, 4. Press Enter. So there's our line. Now we can check it. Let's select it and hover on it. And you can see the coordinate system in the bottom left that says it's at 3, 4. We did it. So you can always graph to specific points. You can draw at distances. You can draw at angles. But if you know your coordinates, you can draw accordingly. And this is how surveyors will draw in AutoCAD. They will typically need to work on some sort of coordinate system. In the United States, we use a lot of state planes coordinate systems, and that's origin is set at some arbitrary point in the real world. That's at zero comma zero. And then they may go thousands of units away because they're usually covering large areas. And you can draw from point to point. So this is a very useful and just another way of drawing in AutoCAD.